you will not be able to use any other application while you're going through your test session. Once you're done with your test, the secure browser will be automatically closed and you can resume your work normally. This is how your exam environment looks like. At the top bar, you have some tools such as font and size control, increasing and decreasing size, changing the viewer color, and changing language. You can also have accessibility tools such as calculator if the exam allows it. As you can notice, the timer on the top right corner could be either unlimited or could be a specific amount of minutes. You can go through the test sequence by using the navigational arrow buttons, the right or left, depending on your test configuration. Or you can also highlight one of your questions as a bookmarked question, which allows you to go back and review this question at any point before submitting your test. At the center of the screen, you can see your question presented. The title of your question is at the top side, and then you have the choices. For example, this is a true and false question. It only requires you to select one of two choices. Another kind of question type is a multiple choice question. In this question type, you have to choose one of the presented choices, A, B, or C. This kind of question will have an image or a multimedia attached to it. It could be an audio, a video, or just a static image. We can help you understand what's the question requiring to answer. On the left hand side, there's a side drawer menu. You have your username and you have a list of questions in this test. Depending on your test configuration, you can see one question at a time or all questions. In case all questions are presenting, there is a color sign next to each question indicating whether the question has been seen, solved, or marked for review. In case it was green, that means it's already been seen and solved. In case it was red, it means it was highlighted and bookmarked. In case it's gray, it's still unseen and needs to be solved. This kind of question in the middle is a matching question. This kind of question requires a drag and drop interactivity. You need to choose the left hand side and drag it to the right hand side. To change your answer, simply drag the item to another choice and it will automatically map. At the bottom side of the screen, there is a progress bar in green. As you can see, it is saying here at 7%. The moment you finish all your questions, this question bar will be automatically filled up to 100% of green, at which point you are ready to submit your test. In order to submit your test, you can either click on the big submit green button, and in case you haven't seen all your questions, it will prompt you to see all your questions before submitting. However, if you are ready to submit, you can either use this button or the last question will show you a submit green button on the far side of the screen. Once you submit your test, you will be ready to either see your results or it will automatically prompt you to exit your session, depending on your test configuration. Good luck!